Uh, in this exercise, we want to continue looking at the topology of the subsets of R and go beyond again, as we said, the concept of closed and open and uh, go to what we call Borel sets, which contains, of course, the family of F, delta, of F sigmas and G deltas. In this problem, we are asked to show that closed uh, subsets of R are, in fact, G delta and mm -hmm. Uh, open subset of R are F sigmas. Uh, since the complement of a G delta is an F sigma and vice versa, uh, then we only focus on the first part. The second part will come in handy from the by taking the complement. So let let C be a non-empty subset of R which is closed. Let us prove that F is in fact or C, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, C is in fact uh, G tilde. So, let n be greater or equal than 1 and consider uh, on which is the uh, which is the union of the uh, open intervals a minus 1 over n a plus 1 over n, where A belongs to C. So this is uh, a very open interval, is an open set, and since we're dealing with uh, any union of open sets is open, we conclude that ON is open. Okay? It's not very hard to see that, in fact, we have that C is a subset of ON for N greater or equal than N. So, which implies that in fact C is included in the intersection of all the ONs where N is greater or equal than 1. So, uh, we claim that in fact we have equality, that C is equal to the intersection of the ONs. Once we prove this claim, then the conclusion is uh, true, since the ONs are open and we have a countable intersection of open set, therefore C is the G delta. Okay? Assume not. Then, there exists an element there exists Y, which belongs to the intersection of all the ONs, and Y does not belong to C, which means that Y belongs to the complement of C, which is open. So this is where we use the fact that C is closed. Huh? So the complement is open. Therefore, there exists epsilon positive such that the open interval y minus epsilon y plus epsilon is in the complement of C since it is open. So, So there exists an N, because the term is positive, there exists N0 such that 1 over N0 is less than epsilon. Okay? In this case, we use the fact that Y 
belongs to the intersection of all the ONs will imply that Y in fact it belongs to ON0 okay so there exists an element A in C since ON0 is a union of this open interval such that Y belongs to A minus 1 over uh, N0 and a plus 1 over n0. So this will imply that the absolute value of a minus y is less than 1 over n0, which is less than epsilon. In other words, that a belongs to the interval y minus 1 o over epsilon. I'm sorry, 1 minus epsilon, 1 plus epsilon. Okay? Which implies that a, I'm sorry, not A, C, since A belongs to C, intersect Y minus Epsilon, Y plus Epsilon is not empty, which contradicts what we assumed that Y minus Epsilon, Y plus Epsilon is in the complement.